dear students let's start our class today we are going to discuss a new chapter from your history the age of industrialization in this chapter you will learn the history of britain the first industrial nation and then india where the pattern of industrial sense was conditioned by colonial rule the chapter begins with explaining the scenario before the industrial revolution and how it sensed over time in terms of labor setting up of factories etc some of the other topics explained in this chapter are industrialization in the colonies industrial growth markets for goods workers life etc dear students we are going to discuss regarding before the industrial revolution proto industrialization is referred to the phase which existed even before factories began in england and Europe there was large scale industrial production for an international market not based on factories in the 17 and 18 centuries merchants from europe moved to the countryside supplying money to peasants and artisans requesting them to produce for an international market Merchants were restricted to expand their production within towns because rulers granted different guilds the monopoly right to produce and trade in specific products in the countryside poor peasants and artisan eagerly agreed so that they could remain in the countryside and continue to cultivate their small plots the proto industrial system was thus part of a network of commercial exchanges controlled by merchants the coming up the factory in the 1730s All these factories in England were set up, but only in the late 18th century, the number of factories multiplied. Cotton was the first symbol of the new era, and its production boomed in the late 19th century. Richard Arkwright created the cotton mill. where costly machines were set up and all the processes were brought together under one roof and managed the pace of industrial sense first in britain the most dynamic industries were cotton and metals cotton was the leading sector in the first phase of industrialization up to the 1840s followed by iron and steel industry second the new industries found it difficult to displace traditional industries third the pace of change in the traditional industries was not set by steam powered cotton or metal industries but they did not remain entirely strengthened either fort technological changes occurred slowly james watt improved the steam engine produced by newcomen and patented the new engine in 1781 his industrial friend matthew bolton manufactured the new model steam engines were not used in any of the other industries until much later in the century hand labor and steam power 
there was no shortage of human labor in Victorian Britain. Industrialists had no problem of labor shortage or high wage cost. Instead of machines, industrialists required large capital investment. The demand for labor was seasonal in many industries. In all such industries where production fluctuated with the season, industrialists usually preferred hand labor, employing workers for the season. Life of the workers the workers' lives were affected by the abundance of labor in the market. To get a job, workers should have existing networks of friendship and kin relation in a factory. Till the mid-19th century, it was difficult for workers to find jobs. In the early 19th century, wages were increased. The fear of unemployment made workers hostile to the introduction of new technology. Spinning jenny was introduced in the woolen industry. After the 1840s, building activity intensified in the cities, opening up greater opportunities for employment. Roads were widened, new railway stations came up, railway lines were extended, tunnels dug, drainage and sewers laid, rivers embanked. Dear children, let's recap. Before the Industrial Revolution, Proto-industrialization is referred to the phase which existed even before factories began in England and Europe. The coming up of the factory, the phase of industrial sense, hand labor and steam power, life of the workers. Thank you. Have a nice day.